Are you guys stacking? Good morning everyone this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living channel. I uh, just wanted to give you an update on the uh, green room where we uh, raise our uh, seedlings. We discovered we were uh, inundated with uh, aphids and uh, luckily all my um, plants are young so we decided to go ahead and uh, get some uh, control on our aphids so we're using these two products right here and uh it seems to uh i was worried about their influence on these plants and we sprayed them last night and we sprayed the greenhouse we're using a soap uh, and all organic and uh so so far everything looks all right but uh our first uh a little concern about something going wrong so um you know we're going to deal with critters no matter what all right so uh Looks like a beautiful day here. I don't know if you've noticed, if you watch our videos that's over time, have you noticed the grass getting thicker and greener and uh, everything's been treated? And uh, it won't be long before we have to uh, start mowing. But th this video, I started out like, are you stacking? Now, a lot of people think of stacking as uh, saving uh, silver or gold. But, uh, I'm suggesting stacking. <laughs> and the reason I'm kind of bringing this up, and I, I'm trying to talk to people with small apartments, people with porches, people with townhouses and condos, uh, small properties. I really think, and I, I, I hope I look back in this video and go, Rob, you're nuts. <clears throat> well, we're gonna have a real food problem. I think it will be two things, food shortages and inflation. And uh, in some cases, there's going to be a lot of things you're not going to buy anymore because the prices, they're talking about 400, up to 400% on some items. What those items are going to be, not sure. They're already talking about shortages on chicken. Uh, but what I want to do is try to get people to try this. This is a Mr. Stacky. They're called Mr. Stacky. They're not that expensive. Um, each one, I think, is, I don't remember, maybe seven or eight bucks. And there's different ways you can stack them without a pole in them. And you can get a box to go with them that will hold nutrients that will rotate by itself. It will be self-watering. <laughs> Once you put this together and put a self-waterer on it, you just wait for it to start producing and you can grow these are strawberries but you can come home and have this thing just loaded with lettuce you can put beans you can put peas in it you can put all kinds of swiss chard all kinds of lettuces and uh and literally eat off your porch and supplement your your food supply just with one of these um each one is four different sections so what do I got here? One, two, three, four, five. That's 20 plants. Holy moly. Um, anyway, so this channel, we try to show you lead by example, which means Sherry and I are new at a lot of this. I have never done this before. I've never built a greenhouse before. I've never done dust buckets ever before. And what we're trying to show you is we're going to make mistakes. We had aphid problems. Um, I've had problems with certain plants here. Um, just live and learn. <laughs> and, uh, uh, plus, we're lear learning how to grow in a whole new region. Uh, we're, um, well, we're originally from Washington, but we lived in Arizona, and that's where we really started to learn our gardening. And, uh, of course, things are different there. <laughs> so we get here, and it's like, uh-oh, we got to learn how this area works. That's kind of what motivated us to do a greenhouse because of uh, uh, late winters and uh, a short, shorter growing season. So 
I really wish that we could influence a few folks to get prepared. Um, I, I agree with a lot of people who talk about prepping and all that kind of stuff. We're not trying to fear monger. We're just trying to be proactive. And uh, some shows I've been watching, you know, uh, a reset, uh, a recession, a depression is actually a normal cycle and they're not fun to go through. But typically when you go through them, the results from it can create something new and wonderful, uh, a new process, a new way of doing things. Um, and one guy explained that each country, each time a country goes through its down cycle, it emerges more progressive, more uh, in line with uh, technology and people and populations and everything else. So uh, look at it as, as, as a great reset is definitely to be uh, discomfort, but the end result could be good. Um, but don't live in fear. Be proactive. What are the things that are going to affect you and I when this happens? So our job is to try to be ahead of the game. And the most, the biggest commodity out there will not be necessarily money. It might not necessarily be property. It's going to be food. And I finally figured out why the Bill Gates of the world and stuff are all buying these farms. It's not, uh, yeah, some of them are involved in some of this fake meat stuff and all that. But the high, biggest commodity during a reset or during a depression will be food. So if you can make food, you're going to be a very wealthy person. Not necessarily money, but wealthy because you'll have something to barter with. And you'll have a full tummy. And uh, what a great gift we could give you if you had and got prepared to do this and something happens you'll be least likely to be in food banks and lines things like that um, and if you are community oriented you can help your neighbors you can help your friends and family by helping feed them and that's kind of what we're doing now if I'm wrong am I hurt <laughs> nope <laughs> I just got a lot of food and I don't have to go to the grocery store so much but uh, you know uh, all I ask is what cards are we going to be dealt are we going to be dealt food shortages are we going to be dealt high taxes are we going to be dealt with shortages on food or are we going to be dealt with really high inflation and if it does so be it be bummed out and in fear no be proactive it's it's spring right now this is a time in many regions to start and learn how to grow food the real skill is trying to grow food during the off season we're working on that and uh, maybe this is, you know, prop. This is a great time to sell if you live in the city. You'll get top dollar. And uh, you can buy a place like this with your proceeds from a place in California, Seattle. Easy. Five acres. Uh, and have money left over for infrastructure. So uh, let's uh, take a look in the... Uh, greenhouse and see how everything's doing so we're in a greenhouse right now I'm just checking all the Dutch buckets we're slowly adding more and more tomatoes to our Dutch buckets and here's an example of what we're going to start doing with PVC pipe that's a kind of guarantee I did have one of my pipes pop out once and luckily we only went through one cycle that could have been a disaster because I, I lost water and if that was not caught early I could have drained the tank and damaged my mo my uh, my pump. Uh, all my uh, plants in here are uh, doing great. 
Uh, we had to treat them for aphids. This would be on the uh, safe side, so I'm kind of watching them closely to make sure that they weren't too stressed out from being sprayed. Uh, didn't want to do that. But uh, these are cucumbers. We're doing two per pot now. And uh, clean those little guys. And these are some flowers. We sprayed those. This whole area was tr uh, treated for aphids. Um, I think we caught them nice and early. And you know, we're going to have critters. It's just how it is. But uh, yeah, so far really happy. All the potato plants are doing good. And uh, I did get another one planted. And uh, it'll be really fun to see if we get potatoes this year. Getting back to what things could look like. And I know it sounds like gloom and doom when we're talking about, uh, you know, things that could, uh, let me make sure I don't, <laughs> I don't have the sun in the wrong spot here. Um, sorry about that. So Sherry and I were having a discussion and we asked ourselves, what are we afraid of? What are we low on? What do we need to balance out on in our preps? And uh, we both agree that we'll probably start focusing more on chicken and hamburger. Hamburger is so versatile. And uh, we have a lot, <clears throat> sorry, we have a lot right now because uh, we bought a quarter beef at the beginning of the summer. Um, but I think we'll start stacking <laughs> hamburger. The other thing is like um, milk. Now that we have a freeze dryer, uh, it's time for us to figure out, can we make our own powdered milk? Because I don't know if you guys have seen the price of buying powdered milk. Not, it can be kind of pricey. So sometime this week, right now we're doing mixed fruit. Um, and uh, we just finished off doing pineapple, mixed fruit, eggs, of course. And uh, we're in really good shape in those areas. Fruit is something that we'll probably really want to have um, if things get tough and, and fruit prices will probably go up because all the stuff is going on is some of it's caused by transportation uh, some of it's caused by co um, bad weather climate change and uh, uh, I don't necessarily believe that climate change is humans fault but I do know there's things that humans need to improve on to take better care of this earth. But uh, uh, climate change has been a fact that has happened before. Um, it goes through cycles. We've had sh uh, droughts before. We've had climate issues before. We've had a, uh, crazy things found that show that our climate was a lot different in the past. So this, I believe a lot of it's a natural solar cycle. Um, however, does not mean that we shouldn't clean up our lakes and clean up our rivers and, and treat, you know, do the best we can. Um, I just don't think we should be ridiculous about it um, uh, and actually hurt ourselves before we actually solve the problem. So that's enough on that because I know that's a sensitive pro um, subject. but. Getting back to prepping, and if you want me to use a different word, if the word prepping bothers you, then preparedness. Let's, let's use that word. All I'm saying is learn how to grow stuff. Understand and watch news, and sometimes you have to watch alternative news to get the real story because you, know, you go to normal media and it's like, oh, everything's fine. But if you really start pulling up articles, you say, it's not fine. <laughs> and it's almost like they want you to just like, ta-da, we don't have chicken anymore. Well, if you would have known a couple of months ago and actually maybe stirred up a little bit more chicken in the freezer, wouldn't it have been kind of nice to know? Well, there is folks out there trying to give you a heads up, including this person right here, is stack up a little bit, stack up on chicken. And yes, precious metals, uh, might be a nice thing to have so maybe buy a little silver every month buy a little bit of gold if you want because um, uh, inflation is eventually going to make our dollars really hurt and be uh, you'll need more and more and more of it just to get the things that you use every day and uh, 
a good stable uh, money, real money, would be silver and gold. Uh, it's always going to be real money. It was good. It was real money five, you know, five thousand years ago. And it was real money a uh, hundred years ago, and it's real money now. And it'll always be real money. Um, it's not a really. I've noticed it not to be a, a, a commodity to buy to to make money like we have 401ks and, and, and mutual funds and stuff we do that because we want our money to grow um, if you want your money to be stable then turn it into silver or gold uh, it'll hold its worth but it's not going to be a real money maker like a 401k um, and I urge you to go look at the research go look at the data look at a hundred years worth of data and look at all the recessions and things we've had and look how gold and silver have done and, and you'll find it's something to protect your money but not necessarily grow your money let's put it that way but the big thing I wanted to get through today and we took a day off <clears throat> from uh, recording is is it time for you to do something that you've never done before like grow a little food there are so many clever things now that you can do in your apartment in your in a take a half half of your room you'd be amazed how much food you could produce in a spare bedroom it's amazing this is the time to do it and if you live down south in the hotter climates you have two seasons you could really be pumping out the food <clears throat> now when it comes to meat and things like that well you may have to start buying now and start putting it in the freezer find, uh, or like us we can freeze dry some of our meat we can actually cook up a bunch of, of hamburger freeze dry it and basically all we have to do is just add water and heat it up and we have hamburger um, I'm not really big on doing raw meat in our uh, freeze dryer but cooked meat I'm good with <clears throat> so uh, anyway this is just a Monday morning kind of stimulus let's get going let's do what we need to do hey I'm a old guy man look at me um, uh, compared to you youngins you guys can do amazing things and get the kids involved it's a good thing for them I mean if, if you have anything growing some food doing a little stack like I showed you uh, doing little projects in the house, maybe do microgreens and get the kids involved and, and they'll learn something about food and uh, it's all good. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, I, I know it's been kind of preachy. I don't mean to be. Um, I'm just trying to get people to realize this is a channel that shows you people starting from scratch on some issues and making it become real. This greenhouse behind me never built one before never had a greenhouse and now we're doing it and we're gonna make mistakes and so will you and I've never done woven fabric um, big gardens before uh, learned it from um, you know from YouTube just like you're doing it with us and uh, it's and we're gonna make mistakes so what and next year we'll be better at it and the year after that will be even better we don't know if some of these issues that are coming up are going to be this summer or in the next three years. Um, if you're just starting out to get stacked up or um, getting prepared, um, then uh, do it. Uh, I think you're running out of time. I think a lot of us are. And uh, will me and Sherry be shocked? Yes. <laughs> um, I still don't. I'm still not confident that I've got my water coverage covered that well because it still depends on fuel. And I'm kind of thinking about putting a mechanical pump on our well. And uh, uh, there's a few other things we got to do also. Um, some modifications to the greenhouse. We're adding uh, uh, solar lights to it or movement lights because uh, you know all we have to do is get a little critter, a little field mouse or rat, get in there and really demolish our food so we're gonna put a security camera in here I already got security cameras on the chickens and so uh, I can add four more cameras on this property so one's gonna go in here lights are gonna go in here outside and inside and uh, yeah so we 
we're not done yet. We got a lot of things to do. And then we got to start looking at what our next projects are. I think our biggest one is going to start getting ready to plant um, conventionally in this garden here and see how we do. Um, a little worried about the quality of the soil, but we can amend it. So guys, have a great day. Uh, hopefully, uh, down below, leave comments. Let us know if you're doing anything. Uh, if you think we're uh, fear-mongering, um, I apologize. I just trying to. I want to be proactive. That's all. Am I scared about things? No, I believe in God. I'm. I'm not afraid. Um, I, things are in His hands. But He also says, "Don't just sit back and just like do nothing." <laughs> Uh, we just do the best we can and provide for our families. So uh, there you go. So guys, have a great day. This is not a doom and gloom. This is just to get you motivated to go try something new and, uh, and, and, and have fun at it and let it be an educational process for your kids. Uh, it's all good. So guys, have a great day. Be safe. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And send it over to the Mars rover over there. We, we, uh, we think they'll like it. So guys, have a great day. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.